Well, we've all heard the USDA recommendations about fruits and vegetables being essential to our health and how we need to make sure that half our plate, yeah, half that plate at every meal is made up of fruits and veggies. And so today we are checking out a new way to get nutritious, oh so amazingly tasty vegetables into our diets. It involves starting a garden right at home. All right, take a deep breath. It's not as daunting as you might think it is. It can actually be a whole lot of fun for you and the entire family. Just ask my next guest. This is Tony Branner. She's a mom. She's an exercise physiologist who is here to share her at-home secrets. Tony, good morning to you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here with us. What made you want to try gardening at home? Oh, wow. Well, I've always been intrigued by the farm to table movement and providing local vine ripened produce for my family but I've never grown a garden on my own. Um, maybe some mint, which I've heard you can't kill <laughs> you mint. You can't kill mint. That's yeah, no, right. I don't have That's a green right. thumb. I'm with you, girl. But I went to visit a friend and she was going on and on about this tower garden that she was growing and you could grow fruits and vegetables at home without the weeding and the digging. And I thought, wow, that's something my family could really benefit from. And she told me her grandchildren were eating foods they'd never tried before. Because they were so excited to see it on a tower yes. growing. And I have a son who's a very picky eater, so I was, I was pretty excited about it. So you're like, I'm going to try this. Yes. All right, your friend piqued your interest. What happened next? Well, I bought my own tower garden, and we decided to make it a family project. And oh, so we all chipped in and did our part, and it was a blast. We set it up according to the directions and used the seeds they gave us. And about four weeks later, lettuce. <laughs> lots and lots she of like lettuce. She's I got lettuce. Yeah, lots of lettuce, <laughs> and um, not just any lettuce. It was beautiful and smelled wonderful. You don't even think lettuce would smell great, but I know. You know, and I was thinking that I'm here. It's too bad we don't have smell vision because I have to tell you, it smells <laughs> amazing in here. I wanted to ask you because I told you I don't have a green thumb. How quickly did you get the hang of it? Well, my mother-in-law, who is an avid gardener, was amazed at how quickly it grew, the yield that we, we achieved. And we were doing lettuce and kale and spinach and cucumbers and cherry tomatoes. And once you set it up, it's pretty easy. You just have to monitor the water and nutrient content of the tub. And it's kind of like easy chemistry set. An easy chemistry set? Yes. Which was not my best <laughs> subject in school. So I'm willing to try to get the hang of this because I think it's such a great thing for families to really get their kids eating healthier. And I wanted to talk to you about the difference. All right, so I've got this tower garden, right? Okay. But how does that differ from traditional gardening where you're kind of in the dirt doing it? Right. Well, I told you I'm not a traditional <laughs> gardener, but I can talk about the tower garden. And many of your viewers may have heard of hydroponics mm -hmm. before. But this is an advanced form of hydroponics called aeroponics. And the column that runs in the middle of the tower garden actually holds the roots. The roots float down in there and they're showered with nutrients ah. and water. And you can actually hear it if you lean your ear in. You can hear the water trickling down. Oh, how nice. It's really great. And it's environmentally friendly because the nutrients are recycled. And it only uses less than 10% of the land and water of traditional gardening. Oh, so that's, that's great. great Great. And even if you don't have a yard, a balcony or a patio works really well for a tower garden so your family can enjoy fruits and vegetables locally picked right in your back door. I love that because, you know, we have these tower gardens here in the studio, but folks, no, you cannot grow it in your living room. You have to take it out to your patio or your balcony because it does need light. Sunshine. It needs some sunshine, so right. definitely you got to take it outside. That's right, that's right. What a great thing. Now, I know that you brought this terrific salad that we see here with us this morning using all uh, grown by you, fruits and veggies. It looks absolutely fantastic. Walk me through what we have here. Okay, first I want you to see the roots that are still attached wow, to this gorgeous lettuce. That. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't get much more natural and fresh than that. And it's so exciting to make a salad with things that you've grown yourself. Sure. And so we're going to put some edible flowers in that we grew on my tower garden. And we put tomatoes in already. And you can see, is that not beautiful? It looks The colors great. and the phytonutrients that are in that salad are just amazing. It looks amazing. Okay, so it looks good. But the big question is, how does it taste? Well, you have to taste it and you have to smell it. Because right. that's the real difference between. That's my cue. Yes. And I'm going to do it from over here. 
And what I've noticed oh is my, my son was so excited <gasps> about growing the tower garden and the way the food looked and the way the food smelled that he started to eat mm. fruits and vegetables that he normally wouldn't eat. And that's been very, very exciting. There's, there's mm. actually studies that show that if you expose young children to fruits and vegetables, <laughs> you're going to keep eating. <laughs> yeah. This whole tower garden will be gone. <laughs> yeah. But if you expose young children to fruits and vegetables when they're young, they start to crave them and you set them up for healthy habits for Life. And that's really yes. so important. And the other thing too is, I didn't realize lettuce had a smell. So the mm. fact that it smells so great is wonderful. It tastes amazing. And you've been an amazing guest this morning. Thank you so much for sharing the Tower Garden with Thank us. Thank you for having me. I've enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can find out more about the Tower Garden uh, yourself by heading to the website. It's towergarden.com.